Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're taking a look today at a cordless phone. Not the most exciting technology here in 2021, but this one might be useful if you've got a small to medium-sized business or farm and are looking for a way to get all of your employees to communicate with each other without having to get everyone a cell phone subscription. Uh, this plugs into a regular telephone line, but you can also get multiple handsets which can communicate directly with each other. And the range on these is really, really good. And we'll talk about that as we work our way further into the review here. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that Ingenius sent this to the channel free of charge to review. However, they have not reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. They're not paying for this review and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what this phone is all about. Now, the price point on this is a little pricey for a cordless phone. The kit here with the base station, the charger, and the phone itself sells for about $310 at the time of recording this video. And then you can buy additional handsets for about $130 each. It's a pretty simple product. It plugs into your phone line here in the back. It does have a pass-through, so if you had a phone on the desk, you could have that uh, work with this as well. So it's basically got a little phone splitter built in. I have mine connected to an OBHi box that works with my Google Voice account. And this basically allows you to take your Google Voice account and make it work with any telephone. And if you've got something that supports what they call a POTS connection or plain old telephone network, uh, this will connect and allow you to make phone calls. Now, if you decide to get additional handsets, the handsets can communicate with each other through the intercom feature here. You can basically program in each extension into the phone and your employees can call each other without using the phone line. And those conversations are point to point on these. They work really well. I was using these at my old job, an older version of this product, and that was something we made a lot of use out of. You also have a broadcast button here that will page all of the phones that are connected to the base station. And that could be really useful if somebody's trying to page someone who might be missing somewhere in the warehouse or whatever. Now, while these phones can page each other, uh, the base station does not have a speakerphone on it. So you need another one of these to talk to your employees. You can, though, hit the page button and this will <laughs> page all the other uh, units in the office if you need to find uh, where all the handsets are located. This works over 900 megahertz, so it won't interfere with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The maximum power is about 400 milliwatts. And what they're saying for the range on this is that it'll cover a 100,000 square foot warehouse building. That was my experience with a prior generation of this product. We had about that size building. It'll go up about six floors through concrete and other materials. And if you're doing something on a farm, for example, they say you can get about 10 acres of coverage from the base station. And in my testing, it lined up pretty well with that. I walked about a thousand feet away from my house and I had this up on the second floor and I was able to make and receive calls that far away from the house. So I wasn't able to walk around the entire neighborhood, but I could easily cover my yard. I have about a two acre yard here and walk a bit down the street, even through trees and other obstructions. So the range here is definitely as advertised. The voice quality is not great out of this. It's using an older technology called G729A. It's a very low bandwidth uh, kind of voice technology, but for something like this, you don't need anything all that fancy. Uh, the handset itself uh, is relatively uh, well-constructed. It is plastic. They do have a line of phones that are a little more rugged that might appeal to people who have warehouses where people tend to drop things or whatever. But if you have a relatively uh, low impact environment, this plastic model should work fine. It feels uh, very well constructed. There's a belt clip here that you can use or just throw it in your pocket. They do have a menu option to disable the keypad if you do decide to use it in your pocket. It's not that loud out of the earpiece here, so you may want to hook up a hands-free uh, headset if you want a little bit more volume. Uh, but the speakerphone uh, is pretty loud on this, although in a noisier environment, again, I think having uh, a hands-free might be the better way to go. This doesn't work with Bluetooth headsets or anything like that, so it's got to be wired in directly, but you do have that option. Uh, there is a removable battery in here. You charge it just by plugging it into its little charging stand here, and you're good to go. Now, it does have a caller ID function, so it will record 
the numbers of people that called you previously and you can jump through that menu, hit the green button and dial those numbers without having to use the keypad. You can make calls like any normal phone here just by picking up the phone and dialing. You can also dial the number ahead of time. There is a phone book built in uh, which can encompass regular phone numbers and other units that are on your uh, base station and you can just pick the number you want to call and push the green button here. It will pick up the phone and dial it for you automatically. So you have that as an option as well. The phone book does not sync automatically between handsets, but there is a menu option to send your phone book entries to the other handsets that are linked up with the base station. Uh, so you can uh, basically set them up all at once and have it working that way. This particular model though doesn't support a uh, push to talk kind of feature. So to call another handset, you do have to either dial the extension directly or go through the phone book. But overall, it's a very nice little unit here. Again, I've got a lot of experience with this brand and this one seems to be continuing that tradition. They do have more rugged phones that are designed for larger environments that cost more, that have push to talk. But if you have a smaller situation and you're looking for a way to conveniently have people call each other, this is definitely worth taking a look at because these phones do hold up, the quality is good, and the range is definitely there. One last thing to keep in mind is that there's only one active phone connection on the base station. So if you plug it into your phone system and somebody's making an outside call, you're going to have to wait for that person to get off before anyone else can make a call outside. But again, these handsets can dial each other directly if they are in range of each other because that is a one-to-one -one connection. That's gonna do it for this look at the Ingenious Freestyle 2. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Jim Callagher, Hot Sauce and Video Games, and Brian Parker. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.